Good morning, my Sagittarians. Hello, fire signs. I hope all you mamas out there had a great day yesterday. Happy Mother's Day to all of you. Happy Mother's Day to all who celebrated with their mamas. Um, yeah, I hope it was a great weekend. But today we have fire signs. So let's see what messages we have in store for you, beautiful Sagittarians. I have Tarot the Abyss today for the main deck. I have Wheel of Fortune for the clarifying deck. And the links to these decks can be found down below in the description box. I have the Fool and the Justice Reverse. If that is not a beginning and an ending, it feels like an ending to a job, or maybe you're just gonna take some time off and travel and have a vacation. It could be something like that, but the Fool is like, I don't even care. I'm on God's time. I'm not on my time. I don't even have time. I, I, I don't even wanna know what day it is, kind of, kind, of, kind of energy I'm feeling here. Justice Reverse is just a, it, it really feels like, an end came to a, a, it feels like a job, honestly, but it could be a relationship. So let's see, we got the full here, nine of wands reverse, five of wands reverse, and ooh, look at this Denzel moment. Eight of cups, walking away, throwing that cup away, and in my head, that, that house is on fire. Sag is just like, you know what? I am just done being lied to, I'm done being manipulated, and I am done fighting. I am taking a sabbatical from drama. That's what it feels like. All right, Sag, let's see what's going on. Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Sagittarius. If you are a Sag, know a Sag. Feel like being a Sag. Sages, I'm glad you're here. You could be a Sag and this resonates, or you could be dealing with a Sag. It could resonate as the main story, and Sagittarius could be the cross watcher. This reading could be about a Sag or for a Sag. Take it as it resonates. Let's see. Let's see. General energy. Okay, I just said it, and you are already flipping flipping cards my way three of swords reverse is about learning something after the fact it's healing it's over it's old it's done stick a stick a fork in me i'm done energy but in this three of swords it was never about the pain it was about the lesson so it is piercing the book of knowledge the letters float around and he's like now i see why that had to happen that's what that card's about in this deck there's two threes there's two tens and one three and one ten are about why something had to happen. It's it's a card of reflection and learning. What's influencing the three of swords reverse? Libra and energy. What's influencing the three of swords reverse? What's influencing the three of swords reverse? What's influencing it? The ace of wands. You're, there you are. This is that full energy I was feeling. Once you understand why something had to take place, it's like it, it's lost its hold on you. It's lost its, there's no mysterious. It reminds me of the horror movies, you know, whenever. The best horror movies, you don't even know who the monster is. You never know who it is. It, it's like, that's why strangers, if you guys like, I love horror movies, but strangers are so creepy because then they just leave. You don't know anything about these three people, these, these psychopaths, nothing about them. Um, the mystery is, un, is still, un, it's still a mystery. Something's not a mystery any longer. Why someone came into your life, why the pain you went through happened, why you had a certain place in life, whatever it is, I feel like this aha moment came through, an opportunity came through, and you're taking that pain and using it for gain, you know, moving it forward, like the fuel to move you forward. What is the reason for the reading? What is the reason for the reading for Sagittarius? What is the reason for the reading? the sun reverse leo energy i'm just looking okay you know what's interesting with this ace of wands is is she holding a dragon a bird a falcon she's holding something i i don't know but the knight of wands on this card in this deck i mean the knight of wands a man is holding in his hand it looks like a dragon with fire and i always feel like that's Sagittarius is you could be the one in charge or you could be the one in the palm of somebody's hand and now when I look at that she's holding out her hand I feel like you're the one it's like the tables have turned and you're the one in power what's in the past what's in the past for this ooh ooh ooh, ooh. I see lover six of cups but a four of swords reverse I think I'm taking these only because they're gonna my deck's gonna be on the floor here 
And even the Ten of Cups, it's like you really help somebody out when they needed it. So you got the Lovers, the Six of Cups, and you would do anything for somebody because you love them. But I almost, with the Four Swords Reverse, Libra and Energy, I feel like somebody used your loyalty against you for maybe you helping them out. Okay, what is on what is on Sagittarian's mind? Eight of Swords, but the Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune. Eight of Swords, Gemini Energy, is a card of feeling bound to something. But then you take the Ten of Wands. That Remember I said using that pain for gain? That's what it feels like. You're taking your past lessons and turning them into a book or an art piece or a canvas or into stories for other people. You're taking those past lessons and, and really turning it into something that can make you money, that can really strengthen your steps. Every it, it, The Ten of Wands is you taking your past and and moving beyond it is what it feels like because we have a wheel of fortune here on your mind and it says i'm ready to let this be in the past i'm ready to let the old version of me be in the past here's the other three of swords reverse and it tells me you're healed from something and it before you could have been healed from the the trauma or healed from what was done to you but yet you may not have been moving forward at the same time it, you may have been an in-between period this Ace of Wands tells me you have an opportunity coming in and you really feel empowered. You feel strong. You feel like you're ready to take on the world energy. And a lot of that is, is you know what it feels like is soul retrieval. I feel like you, you're you actually getting all your pieces back from those who took, took them um, unrightfully away from you. What is in the near future for Sagittarians? What is in the near future for the Sagittarians? What is in the near future for the Sagittarians? What is in the near future for the Sagittarians? Thank you. Look at the justice. I feel it's a page of pentacles reverse and then there's a lot of Libra here. Are you guys dealing with a Libra? There is a lot of Libra going on in this reading. You got a Libra, you got a Libra, you got a Libra, you got a Libra. Anything else? Any other Libra wants to come out? No, there's a lot of Libra. In. I, I, I really feel like there's a Sag that had the short end of the stick for a lot of your life. You hope for the best, but you may have gotten the worst. And then you stayed optimistic. And you hope for the best, and then you may have gotten somebody's worst. And I just feel like there's a Sag that you're just done with that. You're, you're really ending a cycle of pain and trauma and who did what. And because you want the next stage of your life to be about a legacy, about you overcoming your past, about what you did next. It's about what you did next that matters. It's about what you're about to do, Sag, that matters. And you realize that. And that is where you get your karmic justice. It's not hurting the person who hurts you. It's about overcoming in spite of them. You stood up. You stayed strong. Even if your knees were wobbling, you never, you're, you didn't falter with this Ten of Wands up here. You never stopped pushing forward. And the good thing about this with the Ten of Wands and the Wheel of Fortune is I feel like this has been a lot of your life go all uphill. And you're like, when is it I can go downhill? <laughs> it's like, when, when will this not be so hard? It's now. Wheel of Fortune's here. And that tells me the wheel is about to change, right? Some of you could be a Saturn. What is that? The thirty a thirty year end Saturn, Saturn cycle that just pop, that just popped in my head. I just feel like some of you were born underneath a a certain energy where you had to almost prove yourself and prove yourself and prove how strong you are and prove how what a good person you are. And you're just like but with little to show for it. And you're the the best way I can explain it is is two little purses you know, like two little velvet little satch satchels. That's what I'm feeling. So on one satchel, you keep looking in that satchel and seeing when am I going to get repaid for all the work I've done? But you don't know the other satchel has been every time you got hurt and you rose, a stone went in that. And every time that happened, a stone went in that. But it's like you've been looking at the wrong satchel. And now this other satchel's running off, like it's running over. It's, it's, 
your just due is here. Your karmic reward is here. Your, your justice is here. But it's not because you're going to take that and hurt the people now that you're in position to. You're, you're going to help people who really need it. It's like you have a choice. You can hurt the people when, when, when they're down or you can help the people who didn't ever expect it. I, I just, I don't know if it's making sense at all, but it, it feels like there's a sag where your luck is really about to change. And it's not that you didn't expect it. I still feel like you always stayed optimistic, but you were starting to lose hope. What is this Three of Swords reverse influenced by the Ace of Wands? Three of Swords reverse influenced by the Ace of Wands. Libra and you, fire, fire element. What is this Three of Swords reverse? Why the Three of Swords reverse? Some of you, the Three of Swords reverse can even be like your family, your parents, your mother, your father. Why you were born in a certain type of situation. Look at the Three of Swords reverse and the Knight of Pentacles. It's time to move on from the pain. There's the Fool again, Sag. It's time to move on from the pain and take your place. Knight of Pentacles is taking that pentacle and moving forward, taking that story to help somebody else. Moving on to a whole new area in the world, maybe, in the state, and in, away from this, right? Three of Swords Reverse is leaving it in the past. It's always going to leave a scar of, of the old hurt, but you're using that scar as a teaching element rather than something that's holding you back. And the fool is just seeing what's out there, not being afraid to see what's out there and what you can do. You know, that's the biggest thing is not being afraid of success, not being afraid of attention, not being afraid of using your skills and techniques to benefit you. I just feel like you've had, some of you have had people that have kept you down and you just, almost not just kept you down, but they didn't build you up, put it that way and allowing all the wrong people in your life to use your shoulders, you know, to get a better view. And you're tired, it's, it's tiring. Okay, what is the sun reverse reason for the reading? The sun reverse reason for the reading? Seven of Swords. Why is it always dark in your corner of the world? I don't know who's around you, Seven of Swords. It could be, it could be, it, it actually feels like deceit with a sun reverse being there, reason for the reading. It could also be you sneaking away from this, this part of your life, this job, this family situation, ready for a change. That's what it feels, also feels like sneaking away from what has kept you um, in this, in this place. What, why the sun reverse? High priestess reverse. You will not be ignored anymore. The High Priestess Reverse is now speaking when she's been silent for so long. You don't want to stay silent. You don't want to stay hidden. You don't want to stay in the background. You, you want your time in the sun. You want your time to be noticed. You're liking who you are. You believe in yourself. I really get that Seven of Swords is you sneaking away from this. It's not, you, you're, you're not going out like a tidal wave. You're coming in like a little drop, like, or leaving. It, it's just people won't even, it, that's what I, I, that's what I feel. Like, are you, are you sneaking away from a job, a family situation? It's just like, Sag is just done. And it's not going to be dramatic. It's not going to go out like a, a forest fire. It's just going to be a spark and, and done. What is the lovers, the six of cups, and the four of swords reverse in the past? And the six of swords. Why the six of swords, Aquarius? And the six of wands reverse. Look at the two sixes, which end up zero. As much as your intention was to move something forward, the other person just wasn't on the same page. You could have spent a lot of time at a job, but it really didn't get what was what you should have gotten, you know, just accepting what they are giving you. Six of Wands Reverse tells me that there's lack of hope that this tree is ever going to bear fruit, even though you've been watering it every day. I feel like it's really hard when somebody comes in at night and poisons the ground, you know, you do all the work during the day and somebody comes in at night and, and poisons whatever it is you've been doing. And Six of Wands Reverse tells me I'm finally understanding, Three of Swords, why this never worked. 
It's just, I have people counterproductive to what I'm trying to do. It's, it's, that's what it, it feels like. And the moment you understand that, I feel like you're gonna go search for the people that are right for you. I'm telling you, it just feels like you're taking your place. This aha moment you have, it's not, it's not that you never had it within you. It's just now you're starting to see your own strength. You're starting to see your own heart. You're starting to see your own like attributes of, of what you can do in this life. And you don't have to settle for what you've been doing. You can actually have everything you want. Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, Wheel of Fortune on Sagittarian's Mind. Eight of, Eight of Swords, Ten of Wands, and the, and the Wheel of Fortune. And there's the Ace of Wands again. It's a yes. It's taking that wand. It's some of you are literally taking the stick from a family tree. This feels like a family tree that never quite grew the way it was supposed to because of all the toxicity. You're taking one of these branches and just planting it somewhere else. And saying, you know what? I'm done being the mediator. I'm done being the nurse. I'm done being the teacher. And I, it's just, you want your own life now. What is the justice upright and the page of pentacles reversed in the near future for Sag? Justice upright, Libra, and the page of pentacles reverse. The sun. Look at that. And the two of swords is peace. You're finding your place in the sun. You are balanced. Two of Swords is all about balance, but I also feel like you're blocking out what was blocking your happiness, if that makes sense. I'm not getting this as just love. It could be a long-term marriage for some and their toxic family members. It could be a long-term job that really took advantage of your loyalty. Whatever this is, you're waking up to your strength and knowing that what you really need is not where you've been. And making that decision to go be, I, I get a King of Pentacles here. Actually, I get an offer here by a Tor, like a Torian energy. In the past, you may have shrieked from this offer or asked people, what, what did they think? You know, should I take it? But Sad, you're making your mind up. You're just taking it. And I don't think you're asking for permission. You're not even letting people know. You're just gone. That's what it feels like. It just feels like you're gone if the Seven of Swords be in here. You're not talking about it. You're not fighting it. You're not convincing anyone. You're Ten of Wands reverse, Page of Cups reverse, not even talking about what you're leaving behind because you've finally found your place. Five of Pentacles reverse is finding a place where you belong. And a Five of Swords reverse, it's like you're not trying to convince anybody. There it is, Six of Pentacles. Something, an offer is taking you out of a very repetitive cycle. And you're, ta I, you're just taking it. It's just, I love it. You're not, in the past, you would have asked for a permission or what people thought and let people talk you out of it because you kept trying to make something grow that wasn't growing and then taking the brunt of the, the responsibility for it. And, and it's just, it's, it's so exhausting. It has to be so exhausting trying to please people who can't be pleased. And you're just done with that. You're really living your own life on your terms nowadays. I love it. All right, Sag, have a great rest of your week and I'll see you cutie buys later. Take care.